Okay, so like we said last week, uh, we're going to work on this Troy built four cycle weed whacker. See if it runs. What's the problem with it? The first thing we're going to do is see if we, obviously, if the spark plug is working properly, if we have sparks. So I'm going to take this out. Got a spark plug wrench this week, socket. Spark plug is working. It's sparking away. All right, so we're going to. First thing we should do is put the spark plug back so nothing falls in there. And we're going to adjust the valves. This is a four cycle engine. Not like that blower we did that had, was a two cycle. This is a, a four. How about that? How cool is that? Look at these little valves. All right, so let's get it up to. Let's get it on TDC. So it's going to starting to go down and it's coming up, going down, down, now it's going to go all the way down, make some more string here. Tight, that one's loose. Very loose. Alright, grab a feeler gauge. So we have, it's supposed to be five. And this thing is dancing in here, as you can tell. Um, <clears throat> let's see what it is. I'm gonna try a 15. Wow, 15 is, let's try a 20. Bigger than a 20. And that's, I think that's as far as I go. Yeah, 20, 24, 23, uh, 24 is the biggest I have. And it's still dancing. You can see it. So, let's go back to the 5. We'll tighten it down to 5 with the manufacturer wants. We're going to take our wrench and we're going to tighten it down.
getting there. There it is. You can see it dragging. Just back it up a little bit. You want it too tight. There it is. Okay, so now that's the exhaust side. We're going to do the intake side. I'm waiting for the intake to come back. is tight at five you see the oil when you put the oil on there you see the line it's nice so there it is I'm going to check it one more time make sure that it's all the way open and you can see this one's gone down and now that one came back up even more let's see what happens here I want to make sure ah it's loose See, I didn't come up all the way. So, we're going to do it again. The five is nice. You can hear it when when it's on the... <clears throat> he, uh, adjusted properly. You can feel the drag squeaking. And that's it. It's done. This one is loose again. Let's see what she's got. Mm-hmm. Tighten that up a little more. There it is. So they're both open. I mean, they're both closed now. And now that one's going down. The other one's starting to go down. And they're both now loose. We're going to check it one more time. Nice. Nice. This one could be just a little bit more. Beautiful. Much better than before. There were 24 thousandths, there's supposed to be five. So 20 thousandths over. So we're gonna put it back together and so we don't get oil everywhere. We'll put that back. And one of these should fit in here, the oily one. I'm gonna put, I think there might be some fuel in here. I'm gonna put the spark plug back. Let's see if it runs. Okay, so we're going to check for the oil level, and nothing. I'm going down just a little bit in there. So obviously we're not going to start it with no oil. So we're going to pour some oil in there. I think we're done. Yep, there it goes. come out because we know there's enough oil in there. We're going to close this thing up. Hey, got this thing on there tight. Okay. I guess they don't want it to vibrate off. Okay, let's see if we're successful.
Okay. What do you think? We gotta just just the idle. We can do that once we put it all back together. Alright, let's put it all back together. <laughs>